If you're having trouble with your LED screen not displaying properly, there are a few steps you can take to try and remedy the issue. First, remove the back door of the cabinet. If you're receiving an error message on startup that says error connecting to sender card, it's likely that not everything is plugged in properly. To fix this, make sure that all the necessary cables are plugged into the sender card, which is shown on your screen. The USB cable should be plugged into the port circled in red, while the other end of the USB cable should be plugged into any open USB port on the computer. An Ethernet cable should be plugged into the port that's closest to the outside of the cabinet, which is circled in blue, and the other end of this cable should be plugged into the Ethernet port on the inside of the AC plate. There is also an Ethernet port on the outside of the AC plate. An Ethernet cable runs from this port to the LED screen. Make sure that the Ethernet cable is plugged into the appropriate panel and that the rest of the Ethernet cables on the back of the LED screen are routed correctly. Consult the game manual for more information. If you're still having issues after making sure that all the cables are in their proper place, power cycle the game. After you've rebooted the game, eventually a countdown will appear on screen before the game starts. Press the test button to enter screen setup. If your screen isn't showing this countdown because none of the four quadrants are configured correctly, look at the start buttons on your game while it's booting. As soon as they start to blink, you can press the test button to enter screen setup. Once you've entered the screen setup, you can change the configuration of each of the four quadrants using the volume up and volume down buttons. Starting with quadrant one, change the configuration until the quadrant looks like it's functioning properly. Here, I've cycled through several configurations to show what a quadrant looks like when it's not functioning properly. If the quadrant is mostly black or there are flickering LEDs, you'll need to change the configuration. When you've found the correct configuration, press the test button to move on to the next quadrant. If you need to go back to a previous quadrant, press the service button. After performing this procedure for all four quadrants, you'll see a screen asking you if the four quadrants are now displaying correctly. If they are, press the test button to proceed. If not, you can press the service button to go back. If you have any questions, reach out to us using the contact information shown on screen.